Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clear up, find, and fix some memory leak issues that you might be having inside of your Windows operating system. Memory leak is whenever your RAM or your memory on your computer is running a lot higher than it normally would or should and it's making your computer slow down, lag, and just operate very poorly. Today in this video I am going to be showing you a new product that we just developed that fixes it for you or at least helps you determine what it is and it's really simple, easy, quick and I'm going to go ahead jump in and show you how. So this is the program we're going to be using. It's called Memory Leak Checker. And this program is going to go through all the uh, typical reasons why you have memory issues on your computer. So let me explain how to set this up. And it's very simple. By default, the Memory Leak Checker is going to set your threshold at 10% of your maximum memory or RAM. And for me, it's Rob, your computer's probably not going to have as much memory as mine has because I custom built my computer to have a lot of memory in it. In fact, I have almost 100 gigs of memory, which is a lot. Typically, uh, computers have in between 4 to 16 gigs of RAM. Sometimes you see ones with 30. So for me, my 10% is actually 10 gigs of RAM. Now, you probably want your threshold to be at around 1 gig because most programs are not going to be taking up that much memory. In fact, Windows 10 running in the background should take just over 3 gigs of memory. So having 1 gig threshold is probably what you want to shoot for. Now, the threshold means that that is how much acceptable memory you are setting for your computer to use up in any one process. And if it's using more than that, then you know that something's going on and the computer is using more resources than it needs to running whatever that is. So once you have your threshold set up at around one gig, the first thing you want to check is your current processes. This is going to go through every program that is running on your machine even if you can't see it and it'll tell you if any one instance of that program is using more than the specified amount so go ahead and click check for process leaks it's going to go through that and it tells me right here that no leaks were found on any of my open programs and the total ram usage of all programs or process processes is 8.87 gigs which you know, that's about average. That's where I want it to be at. Next, I want to check the service leaks. Now, services are what is running in the background to make sure that your computer is operating the way it should be. Those are services that you typically don't see. You don't know what's going on. And using those, you can kind of get an idea of how much RAM it should be running. Again, if any one of those services is using more than 1.14 gigs, it will notify you and say, hey, this is probably one of your system leaks. So go ahead and click check for service leaks. It's going to scan through all those. Okay, now you will notice here that the total RAM used in the services is going to be higher than the total RAM used in the processes. And the reason why is because the services actually include the processes to an extent like some of the programs running does have things running in the background so this is more accurate to the total amount of ram that's currently being used on your machine at the time which now is 13.98 gigs which is pretty close to what i am currently running now it, whenever you run the service leaks if it does not come up with anything that says hey this service right here is leaked if it does not come up with that, then you move on to the next thing, which is checking for your driver updates. Now, your drivers are what your computer uses to make sure that all of your components on your machine are doing what they need to do. Drivers basically tell your computer how to operate a monitor, how to operate a mouse, how to operate your printer, how to operate everything. That's what drivers are used for. And by default, the automatic driver updates is turned off. So if I click this right here, you can see that now it is turned off. It tells me that it made the change. You want to try to have this on. So if the process, if closing out the processes didn't work and closing out the services didn't work, 
if you have automatic driver updates turned on now you can go to your start menu here and you can say you can just type in updates and it'll come up to check for updates hit enter and you can check for updates now this whenever you have the drivers automatically turned on it will check for updates on all the drivers as well so whenever this goes done searching i'll go ahead and drop it down and show you okay so it is it did find an update but if you go to view optional updates you see that there is a driver drop down here now this driver i don't want to update because this printer is really old and i finally got it to work and i don't want it to change but if you have any drivers that need updated that is more than likely where your memory leak is if it's not a program or a service so once you get this changed restart your computer do an update see if that fixes it restart again try for another series of updates see if it missed anything and after doing that a couple times more than likely your memory issue will be fixed if it's not the next step is to change the ndu registry number and frankly i don't really know what this number does but i have read online that there's several people that claim that this is what has made their computer not operate and just drain all the memory out of it so the default value is set to two if you click this it will overclock it to four which will basically disable this from happening and once again i don't really know what it does but supposedly this helps people with their memory issues now it, since it doesn't affect my machine at all i'm leaving it at two this again is something that whenever you change you'll have to restart your computer to see the final thing that you can do with this program is change the super fetch now this is installed on some machines it's not installed on mine as it says right here super fetch not found it's probably because i custom built this computer so it didn't have that option in it when i installed windows i don't know but i have also seen online where people said that the super fetch option the process of that has to be changed because it is a memory leak like basically it's a memory leak that microsoft uh, overlooked so it's not found on my computer so i don't have to worry about that those are the five quickest ways to fix a memory leak process all using this one program now if this does not work the next thing you need to do is go to your system configuration right here and this will bring up the microsoft windows system configuration window and you will want to go to boot go to safe boot apply ok and it will restart your computer in the minimum settings you then need to go and check your task manager which again is right here once it's in safe mode and you can see what your memory consumption is and if that fixed it if it did fix it then inside the system configuration window go to services and see which ones are set to running so i'm just going to click this a couple times to get the name set click the status and in alphabetical order you can see all the ones that are running so you'll need to make some screenshots or write down which ones they are and then when you go back to your boot option turn safe boot off apply hit OK, restart your computer, then you can go right back into here and start the very long process of toggling off the ones that were turned off during safe boot and seeing if they were the problem for your memory issue. Now what I would suggest you do, because it's a lot quicker, go in and do A's, do all the A's, do all the B's, do all the C's in separate sections. That way you can just turn them right back on whenever you well boot it back up and you say hey that wasn't an issue let's turn all the a's back on that way it's a lot easier to narrow it down as opposed to doing it one by one okay thank you all very much in a later video i'll go over in more detail what this memory leak checker does but that was a very quick rundown of how you can use this application to navigate to locate and then to shut off or fix any of your memory leaks that you have on your machine. Thank you all very much. This was helpful. 
give us a like subscribe to the channel comment down below if you have any questions and thank you all very much have a great rest of your day hi i'm kyle owner and operator of great technical thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video and if you are here go ahead like and subscribe to the channel it helps us out a lot and it lets me know that the content i'm making is stuff that you all like to see go ahead leave us a comment as well let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future i would also like to say that being a company owner i am very proud to be able to support businesses and students i am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators so if you have a content platform you make videos or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content or if you would like to review some of our products go ahead and send me an email my email is right here support at great technical Dot com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.